Now, I know there's uh, different methods to doing this and people actually remove the caliper entirely and then scrape it with the metal brush and then clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. I went with this method because, I mean, in all honesty, I'm probably going to be replacing the calipers real soon. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun with it because I wanted to practice with my painting skills and I obviously need a lot more work. What I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and get the, the little bit of brake cleaner that I got and go ahead and try to clean off as much as I can. And I already got some electrical tape and uh, segregated the boot, both boots, because I know they don't do very well with the brake cleaner. So, let me just go ahead. And then get my brush, just try to scrape off as much of it as then I'm also going to use this. I heard this works very well. <clears throat> Any form of tire cleaner. And it actually does. On the other side, I left it pretty good. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you can actually see the leftover residue. Ouch. Yes, yes, you can tell you there's actually a bunch of all that gunk that's coming out. Now on the brake cleaner, it all falls out. Well, I guess that's that. I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit, then I'm gonna start spray painting. Now, as you guys can see, I've already uh, wrapped it up and once again segregated the boot itself. I actually like this uh, form a lot better because I don't actually have to take off the entire caliper. And like I said, I'm not really trying to paint the entire caliper, including the inside. I just wanna make it look good. And I'm going with red because I really like the color red. It's my favorite color. And I'm not really going to try to bag everything else that can surround me because I really don't think the paint that I spray is going to go all around. I'm going to stay concentrated right here. I've seen videos where they completely bag everything on the inside and the outside and they just go all out. But I'm not going to do that. I don't think I'm going to go that crazy. Spray paint. Too. I think this should be good enough because I mean the rotor to me is by far the most important part. Everything else is, yeah it's important but I really don't want to get paint on the rotor. So with that being said I've already cleaned it with the brake cleaner and a little bit of a tire cleaner. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and uh, give it one coat of, of uh, spray paint. I've tried it on the other side already and this one doesn't really need a lot. I mean, you, just need, you just need to start with small, uh, very thin coats and little by little you start making it thicker and thicker. So like with that being said, that's really all it takes. I don't want to make it too watery, too watery, uh, cause then it's gonna start running. All right, I think that should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry up and uh, I'll be back in the following five minutes. Hi there, monkey face, what are you doing? I play. What are you playing? Playing Minecraft. I know you're playing a game, what game are you playing? 
for the time being, while I go ahead and uh, wait for the calipers to dry up from the red paint, um, been, I've been actually focusing on other parts, like for example this bumper used to be black, and I'm trying to spray paint it white so it can kind of go with the color of the car itself. It's actually looking a lot better, other than the dents that you are super noticeable. I spray painted the cover, the, the, the trims already. Um, yeah. And I was actually trying to spray paint the, root, the hood as well. Because about a week ago, I tried uh, polishing the hood. And I thought, you know, maybe the paint wouldn't make a big deal. But it actually did. It actually removed some of the paint. And now it looks like I have a weird stain right there. And I actually just ran out of black paint. Let's see. I mean, I got that there, but that's ran out. I don't even know why it's there. I should throw it away. But yeah, I just need to go spray painting this. And then this side almost looks done. Look, it looks looks pretty nice. I'm gonna give it one last very thin coat, super thin. Then after that, I'm gonna put the wheels back together and uh, see how it looks. It should look fine, but who knows? What? I don't know. What? I think they're just playing music. Sounds like they're playing music. You wanna go play with them? No? Alright, well it's been about five minutes already since I gave it its first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and give it its second one and go ahead and try to give it a, like I said once again a, a more a thin start with thinner coats. I'm not gonna go too aggressive with it because with the other one I did try a little bit too hard to go aggressive with it and it ran a lot. The spray paint runs a lot, so very thin coats are the way to go. So with that being said, that's all I'm going to do for that. And then on this side, That should be good, because I notice that once it starts to get very, uh, the the paint looks very thick and it starts to run, rather than staying together, it actually expands, and you can actually see the very, the nasty, nasty uh, old color itself. So I'm just gonna leave it like that, let it dry for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start spray painting on this third coat. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Alright, <clears throat> it's been dried. I give it uh, four coats already and I let it dry for quite a while. I think it's time to remove this. Ciao, Max. And just as I figured, I knew there was going to be a little bit of overspray, but it doesn't really bother me. The brake lines got it, got some red paint on it, but I'm gonna switch to uh, braided steel lines real soon. Alright, I actually like it. I think it looks really nice. And I knew a little bit of the rotor was gonna get so, uh, some paint on it, but I mean, to the time as I'm using my brake pads, they're actually gonna go away, so I think it's fine. And then, uh, yeah, there's a little bit right there. Got a little bit on the stay on the brake line, but I'm gonna switch that real soon with the drum to disc brake conversion. I'm gonna switch every all of the steel lines to steel braided to braided steel lines. And yeah, I'm gonna put everything back together and see how it looks. There you have it. That's the end result of it all. I think it looks pretty good. Come on, grab the glasses! You found the glasses? Yeah! Alright. Okay. Cool. What?
Point the camera. Oh, my God.